Now, the Money and Mental Health Institute charity is calling on the government to limit the level of contact between debt collectors and people due to concerns over mental health. Let's talk about it in more detail, should we? Uh, Rob Smale, who's been struggling uh, with the rising cost of living, is with us now. Hi. Good morning. How are you? Good to see you. Thanks so much. Indeed. I do apologise. I had to have a bit of a jog to get to you. Uh, no, no, not at all. Thank you for coming. We really appreciate it. Um, what sort of challenges are you facing at the moment? Um, at the moment, I'm facing the same as just about the whole population. You know, mm. The cost of living is going through the roof. Food inflation, they say, is 11%. I think it's more like my bill's gone up by about 30%. Energy bills, uh, my standing order's gone up three times since January, so it's tripled. Um, so all of those, so all the things that most people are dealing with, on top of which I have a diagnosed mental health issue, which makes it more difficult to cope with. And what impact is that having on your mental health? Um, fear, which drives anxiety, which then makes you feel depressed, so those, that, that spiral that can start. Mm. Um, I'm in a very lucky position at the moment in that I have a partner who's very supportive and I've managed to build a support network around me, um, but I'm hearing from a lot of my peers that they're really not coping at all. Mm. What do they say? That they're getting bombarded by emails and SMSs and phone calls and letters and they don't know where to go for help. Why do they go for help? So they have a number of options. If you are, um, have been, if you have a mental health support worker, I should first port a call because they can sit with you and help you go through things and help you. There's a number of charities out there that can um, step in and help. I think there's a Christian debt company um, group that, that you don't have to be Christian, but they will help you. Yeah. Citizens Advice, Dial. Um, so again, most of the charities that are, will give you support they can give you specific support around this issue. Okay. What do you want the government to do? Stop the bullying. Because that's what it feels like. Um, it's odd, because in America, they're not allowed to send you as many letters. I mean, there's actually a limit on, on the amount of contact they're allowed to make. I mean, the, the government did something a couple of years ago with a thing called breathing space. So if you're in a mental health crisis, they just couldn't contact you. Because um, the call isn't to get rid of the debt, it's to give people the space to be able to pay their debt. Mm -hmm. So what the Policy Institute have done is they've done some research and they're asking that the regulators actually just limit how many letters you get to give you a chance to sort things out. It's difficult, isn't it? Um, because you're already under pressure and then you just keep getting more and more letters. That makes you more and more anxious yeah. and then it... Uh, in your position, it, it triggers mental health challenges. Yeah. yeah, and we're also in a position now that because of the cost of living crisis, 500,000 more people have been to their GP about anxiety and depression. So what was a problem for people like me who've already been living with this is there's an awful lot of the general public who may never have had a mental health problem before where this could be the thing that triggers it. What advice do you offer to people who are struggling with mental health, do you have coping mechanisms? Yeah, so I, I mean, I've been through therapy and I've done a lot, all that work. Um, but to begin with, it's around being honest that something's wrong. Speak to your GP. You know? Speak to your partner if you have one. Um, pick up the phone to one of the charities and they can help you find someone. Because it's difficult to do, though, isn't it? If it is. In the it's incredibly difficult. To actually reach out to somebody. Yeah, but you, if you don't reach out... You can't get help. And I would, I mean, it took me a long time. But because I did it, I'm now in a much better place than I was even a year ago. Mm. And what about people who are living alone? How do they cope? What's your advice to them? Um, it's really difficult because I actually got a message from someone who's in that position right now, mm. living in a, in a flat in Swansea. Um, trying to use the, the, the web if they've got it, so if they've got a smartphone or a computer to, to begin that process. Finding out if there's some local support, because many of the charities have local groups. So mm. I know Rethink do, they have um, um, regular support groups you can go in, Mind do. Um, but it's the same thing, if you don't reach out to someone. And don't panic about these letters. It's easy no. to say, but... You're not but going there, to are, be, yeah. there are good companies and bad companies. Mm. So some companies will send you a letter and it will say, your account is in debt. If you're having trouble paying, phone this number. If you need to speak to someone, 
email us here and they do it as a proactive thing and there are others where it's threatening mm. so there's also there's a the different companies do it in very different ways and if you can contact the company you don't end up having it handed over to a debt collection agency where things get really scary mm -hmm. I understand. Hopefully, um, Rob, some people listening this morning will take your advice. Thank you. And just reach out. And there is help there is, out yeah. there. You don't have to do it on your own. No. That's the main message, and thank you so it? much for actually giving it the attention because it's... Oh, well, thank you for fun. coming. No, thank you for welcome. illustrating just, the point yeah. to us. We really appreciate it. Good luck. Thank you. Keep in thank touch. You. Thanks we very much. Do. Thank Cheers. you. Now, if you've been affected by this story and want to talk to someone, you can call the Samaritans for free. 116-123, or you can email joe at samaritans.org. There you go, bottom of the screen. 116-123 is the helpline, or joe at samaritans.org.